What is up, YouTube? This is DJ Phantom here, and today I'm going to be playing a game I already played, but I cleared data, so I could show you what happens. It's called Tap Titans, and you will see how it is in a second. We're going to go through this together. Okay? Together. After this episode, I'm going to go to my regular memory. Okay, I'm going to put D. J. Phantom. Okay. Use this name. Okay. Use this name. Okay. So the only thing you do, there's no tutorial basically. Well, there and there might be. There might be. Let me turn the music up. Anyway, it's called Tap Titan. So only thing you do is just tap. You could use your thumb. You can use anything. Just you gotta tap. Okay, just, just just tap, and then you click the coin so you can collect it. And they have these achievements: so kill a hundred monsters, collect a hundred thousand gold, reach stage fifteen, collect five relics, two artifacts. Yeah, all of this. Okay, and then they got a leaderboard. Okay, connecting to Google Play. Okay, then they got multiplayer. No, this friends. This is friends. Okay, friends. Um, this is otherness. I forgot. I think there was something right here and right here, or just right here. But um, yeah, they got rage tutorial. Okay, tutorial. Quick start guide. Introduction. Okay, right, introduction. Welcome to Tap Titans. In this beautiful world, you and your heroes will battle against monstrous titans in order to restore peace and order. You must not rest until these foes have been vanquished. Tap Titans is free to play, but you can purchase diamonds using real currency. Diamonds can be used, for example, to end active skill cooldown periods, revive inactive heroes, salvage relics from existing artifacts, and purchase premium game perks that give you huge advantages and help get you through the game. Game panels. Player active and skill prestige panel. Your hero slash player, the blonde one with the red scarf, that you control by tapping on the screen to attack, also appears at the top of the active skill panel. This is where you increase your tap damage by leveling up. You can also name your hero whatever you want. Whatever you want. There are six active skills which are very powerful which are very powerful weapons to use strategically against monsters. This is where you increase their awesome power by leveling up. At the bottom of the active skill panel, you will find Prestige. Prestige is a mode that resets your entire game. You can start from the beginning again, but awards you many relics, which in turn can be used to purchase powerful artifacts that you will make battling monsters make battling monsters easier and therefore allow you to progress further and deeper into the game. Using prestige is unlimited, but the number of relics received during a prestige is depend is dependent on your player level, stage, and some of your heroes levels and their health. The more you prestige, the more relics you can ultimately get. Higher hero panels. By the way, these are the icons if you didn't know, and these are the heroes. Hired Hero Panel. This is where there is a lot to read. I will not read all this. But, um, no, nah, I'm not going to read this. But that's the basically it. So what you have to do is that they said just tap, K, tap, mm, get coins if you want. Okay. See, it's a tutorial by itself. Then go over here, level up. And now I do two damage instead of one. It's not going to keep multiplying by two, by the way. Okay. Just going to keep tapping really, really, really fast. Okay, see, here's a mini boss. Okay, if you're not ready, you can leave battle. Keep battling other people. I mean, other titans. And keep going. Or if you think you're ready, you can get the boss. And this gray line right here, or white line, if it goes down all the way to zero, it can kill one of your, has a chance of killing one of your heroes, 
or you just have to, or you didn't beat it in time. So let me just hurry up and do this. And the name is at the top. See, this is Dusty. He's a spider. So let's just keep going. Okay. So just in case you're wondering how much you need, just look here. Damage. See, it went up by one. So now I do three damage. Okay, let's just keep going. Just keep tapping. So then we can earn some coins. Okay, so when you look up at the trophy, and then you see the exclamation mark with ri that's white, with red, and black around it, that means you did something. Okay, so you scroll down, wherever, and then, like, get 10 critical hits. You collect a reward, you get 15 diamonds, diamonds right there. What you can use diamonds for is, it will show you in a second. Oh, by the way, just in case you didn't know, that you don't always just keep getting one coin each time. It increases, just in case you didn't know. See, I just got a bunch of coins for that boss. So there's not really much commentating to do in this game. Only thing you do is just tap, 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 and tap. And at the top, you can see what le um, level you're on. So right now, I'm on level 4. And if, if each time you beat a boss, you go up to the next level. And see, I just got another reward. Okay, so look. See, now there's one. Will there be two? Nope, still one. So what's the reward this time? Tap 1,000 times. See? That's easy. Tap already. Now I got 30 diamonds. Let's just keep going. Okay, yeah, see? I got 50 coins, so let's see what's new. So, see? Takeda the Blade Assassin, you can hire now. Okay, so here is another thing. Relics. When you beat a boss on stage 80, which is very far away, then you get a relic. And if you have, this is what you use diamonds for. You could either buy diamonds, or yeah, they the heroes attack by themselves. You could get 25 diamonds for liking on Facebook. You could use diamonds to refresh your skills. Guardian shield, power of holding, doom, make it rain. So, right now, the ones at the bottom, the blue one is hero damage. The red one is my damage. And I do 9, he does 4. But I ultimately can do more damage than them because I attack a lot faster and they have a certain time when they attack. So let's just keep going. See, now this is a regular boss. Now it has a thousand health. And when you beat this, just gonna upgrade you. Now when you beat the boss, let me just get there in a second. Just about there. So when you beat the boss, it says Rainforest and Lock, screen goes white, then it comes back with new monsters. Or maybe old monsters. But, yeah, so that was one. Okay, we still getting one coin. But, we're well, getting a lot more. So you can level up yours. Or you can level up his. In my opinion, I think you should probably not level up Takeda. Because it's going to take a while until he does a lot of damage. But, he's really just one of those when you can just start at the beginning of the game. So, like, look. Now he does 9 damage. You think like, oh, what's the problem? Just, alright, 1, 2, 3, 4. It takes about 4 seconds for him to attack. And that's only 9 damage. You, you could do a lot more damage than him. If you, if you don't get him and upgrade yourself. But some people, yeah, it's better to upgrade them or buy them instead of upgrading you. So, just, I'm just showing you right now. 
So I'm also just gonna back. Okay, so just just tap tap tap. And when you get a certain amount, then there's always gonna be one next person. It shows you how much to hire them. And when you hire them, they're permanent until you prestige. Okay? Or if they die. You don't have to rehire them. They they just they can die. Okay. So now I'm getting two coins, which I probably have been for a while and haven't noticed. So yeah, just tapping and getting two coins. See, it's a mini boss, not a regular boss. So when you defeat a mini boss, you just go to the next one. Okay, now these are called fairies. So if you tap on a fairy, they drop a chest and then it gives you either a special ability or it gives you some coins or some diamonds. Usually it's coins. Like a lot of times coins. So this special ability increased tap damage by 100%. I'm not that good with percent, but I feel like it's just multiplying it by two. So now I have Contessa the Torch Wielder for 175. Now both of them are combined and their entire damage combined is 26. Like I said, sometimes it's better for you to just upgrade yourself. So we're just going to keep tapping, tapping, and when I unlock the next person, then I'll show you. Okay, I wasn't close to unlocking the next person, but um, I got another thing, so let's see what it is. Okay, kill 100 monsters. Wow, I did that fast. Ha ha ha. Drop the chest. See, these coins. And it's usually around about the, how much you would, you should really get. So that's about it. So 674. Let's just go ahead and end this episode by getting her. Okay, just keep going. And sometimes in the next area, it may look different, but it's in the same sort of region area type. So let's see. Because we don't have enough points yet after this. Okay, so it says new each time you're able to buy someone. New, higher. And now they do 82 damage. I could still do better because I tap more faster, but they also, when you're offline, like if I were to exit the game, they would still be attacking. So that is, I guess you could upgrade them. So like when you're offline, they could end up earning money for you. So I will show, show that in a second. Let me just fight this boss. And real quick, get the fairy. See, go. And sometimes they give you ads, so you could probably earn. I think gold is the only thing I've actually had. It was either no, it was gold and diamonds, and probably some um some ability. So in eleven, seems like a different area. Okay, so I'll upgrade me, so I could do more damage. And if you start upgrading yourself enough it will ha it will give you two more options like if you have a lot of money let's say that i was upgrading it cost me a thousand each time i upgrade then if i upgrade like four four times and it'll show do you want to upgrade by bb or b or billion or million or such and such okay okay so this is a regular boss see how the next area looks different it's not in the same region, so it's going to be different. We're going to change. Let's just, let's just finish. Actually, I'm going to show what happens if you lose by the boss. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and wait. Okay. Fail to beat the boss. You fail to defeat the boss in 30 seconds. You can try again by tapping the fight, fight boss icon. Don't forget to upgrade your heroes and come back when you're stronger. Okay. Fight boss, leave battle. So if you don't think you're ready enough for the boss, you can leave battle. Go to these guys, just kill them, get some money, so then you're able to upgrade, and then you can defeat the boss. So that is basically Tap Titans right there, but you could, um, wait a second. A thing that you can do in Tap Titans is, okay, see, there's a shadow. So it's attacking for me, but for it, you could tap on your player, and then there's things that you could use, like if you prestige once or prestige stuff, you could even buy things. So this is DJ Phantom signing out.